got a point, but... Okay, Phelps, we go in hard. You follow my lead. Oh, freak. It's only like 10 minutes. You Jacob Henry? Yeah. Who's asking? LAPD. You're under arrest for the murder of your wife, Celine Henry. Murder? Celine? Save the dramatics oh, oh my for God. RKO, pal. You got bigger problems. What the hell are you talking about? You, you come in here, you, you tell me that Celine is... Take a seat, Mr. Henry. That she's... We're going to have a look around, uh, then we'll talk. Jesus. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh. I mean, everything seems pretty fitting. I forgot you can do the shades. You think the atmosphere is thick in here? Make sure you're trying to gas me. Bring me enough. The oldest problem there is, what to do about the old lady. So let's find our size 8, shall we? That's an 11. Size 11s. He's not our guy. But, makes me wonder with that death threat note. Really makes me wonder. There's only two clues here, so let's have a talk with Mr. So who could have killed Celine? Where did she go last night, Jacob? A bar, I suppose. Look... I don't know. Bruh, you have one job. You know where she went, Jacob. You're lying. Why would I help you if you keep lying to me? Look, I'm telling you, I don't know. We got two options here. We can use the lighter. But I think the more concerning thing, of course, is the alibi. We know she went to the Bamba Club. <sighs> the bartender there. He calls me if things are getting out of hand, and I go, and I bring her home. He called me last night. I said no. Okay. Phone rang a couple more times after that. I ignored it. I'm going to have to live with that. Mm. When did you last see your wife, Mr. Henry? Last night, uh, I went to see her. We talked. Things got a little out of hand. I left. You know, normally I would put doubt just because you kept looking away, but I feel like you're telling the truth here. You don't remember what time you last saw your wife alive? Look, I'm sorry. I left. Maybe 9 p.m., might have been a little later, but right around nine. All right. So what's your motive for murder? Why did you kill her, Jacob? Things will go better if you come clean about it. That's a lousy thing to say. I never gave up on my wife. Unfortunately, you just kind of talked about how you did. I don't believe you, Jacob. I think you didn't have the guts to do it yourself, so you had someone else do it. You want to back that up with something, Big Mouth? Huh? Well, we have this new death threat note that we just saw. The note by the phone suggests you meant her harm. You want the truth? The truth is I was sick to death of her. I was trying to have her committed. We're still going to need you to come downtown, Mr. Henry. We can get this all down on paper, Jacob. How you got fed up with your wife and how you figured killing her would bury all your troubles. Kill my own wife? It was a loss in a trap and you just couldn't stand it anymore. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> so now you're going to tell me you loved her? Ah, the DA goes all gooey over remorse, Jacob. He deserves that. You're awful hot under the collar. Okay. Oh, freak, you're... 
good at fighting. I don't like that. I mean, you really deserve that. Call it in and get a squad car dispatched. And check for messages. I'll keep old Slugger here company. He can still kick you in that position. Just, just noting that. So what do we have here? Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, batch 1247. How can I help, detective? I need a patrol unit to transport a suspect back to Central. Certainly, detective. You have a message from the coroner. Do you wish to be put through? Yes, ma'am. Carruthers. It's Phelps. I've completed the autopsy. Several wounds to the head from a blunt metal instrument. Closest match would be a socket wrench handle. So the cause of death was the blunt? No, the blows to the head surprisingly were not fatal. Death was from hemorrhage and shock from the fractured ribs and multiple injuries caused by the stomping. Oh. Anything else? He's some kind of sex fiend. The tissues of the anus were bruised about one eighth of an inch, but no trace of semen in the anus, vagina, or stomach. Thanks, Doctor. Trigger warning. Operator, give me R and I. Any word on an owner for that vehicle? License was two boy eight eight nine nine. Yes, detective. The plate belongs to a brown nineteen thirty six Pontiac. Registered owner is one Alonzo Mendez. A 402 South Fremont Street, apartment 16. Thanks. Mm. Any other messages? One, detective. From Captain Donnelly. He wants any and all suspects returned to Central. Interviews to be set up immediately. Got it. We're coming in. You know, I kind of believe him. I don't think he killed his wife, and I think he wanted to have her committed. You can drive. But fine. Where are we? We headed? have two options. We can go to Amanda's house, or we're gonna do him. This is gonna be completely optional because we are doing 100%. We're gonna do it. We're gonna go interview Jacob. It took a real pounding. Maybe if he had been a little firmer in the beginning, he wouldn't be in this situation now. I imagine that Neanderthal routine is a big hit with the ladies, Galloway. Women love me, Phelps. I have no complexity. They know exactly what they're going to get. So we'll see if he's actually behind it. If he knows anything, really. We have a firm lead, Captain. Are you questioning my judgment, Cole Phelps? No, sir. Good. I thought not. Jacob Henry is a subsystem pushed around by his wife. I think with the right kind of persuasion, he might be prepared to seek absolution. Are you prepared to show him the error of his ways, young Phelps? I don't think he's our man. Galloway agrees with me. Don't drag me into this. Rusty is a tactical policeman. A bird in hand is always worth two in the bush. Let's liberate a confession from poor Jacob and the public will sleep easy tonight. Run along now, Phelps. I've warmed them up nicely. Oh, the corruption is real. I'm thinking of moving up. All right, let's get the corruption going. Doesn't look good, Jacob. You're in a big jam here. You lie to me and I can't help you out. Do you understand me? Yes. So let's talk about the access to the murder weapon. What do you do for work, Jacob? I'm a mechanic. Engines, differentials, transmissions, that kind of stuff. So you have access to tools? Yes, I do. Your wife was brutally beaten with a socket wrench handle, then stomped to death. How do you think that looks, Jacob? I, I was home in bed. Bruh, we just talked about being- You're full of shit, Jacob. The truth is, you hated that bitch. You followed her and dragged her into the car and then took her out to the moors. She woke up and you smashed her face in with a socket wrench. No. No, 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 no. And then you stomped no. her. You stomped her because she's a drunken whore and she treated you like shit. 
You stomped her for all the years you had to take it. You stomped her because you are such a weak fucking sister, Jacob, and you wanted to erase all memory of it. Go on, try to deny it. I was at home. I should have gone to her at the bar, but I didn't. You can't prove I wasn't home. Well, okay, I'm going to defend him for a second. That second part is of him not answering. You can't prove he ain't, that wasn't home. He said he was, but we don't know that. I can. The bar owner, McCall, gave you up. He called your house right at the time that someone was smashing Celine's skull in and got no answer. If we find that socket wrench, you're going to fry. Get it off your chest. Tell me you killed her. I killed her, all right. I killed her dreams. She was an aviator, famous in her day, flying around up there like a bird. But she never wanted to come back down. You know, my pop was a sod farmer, dirt poor. I joined the Corps, trained to be a mechanic. I did better than my father did. I worked hard for it. It's all you can ask of a man. But Celine, she never wanted to come down from the clouds. She wanted everything I couldn't give her. All I had was security. And that was never going to be enough. That that's kind of makes me sad. You did it. Everything points to you. What does text mean, Jacob? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, actually, he's being truthful here. Be, be a good cop with him. I need a reason to believe you, Jacob. You want a confession? That's what you want? That's exactly what we want. Seems to me there are two types of marriages. First, where the couple love each other equally and everything's roses. And then there's the other, where one person loves the other more than life itself and always puts them first. Chumps like me, who love them no matter what, no matter how badly they behave. That's it. That's my confession. I love my wife. And I'll take any test you got to prove it. He was in an abusive relationship where he was basically addicted to toxicity. Even though there's signs of him hating everything. He... Sorry, that hits a little too close to home because that's just what I had to deal with. Your marriage was over. You took her in and she threw it back in your face. You didn't go over there to hurt her. It just got out of hand. It's not how it was. Bruh. You're lying, Jacob. It was falling apart and things got violent. I'm not lying. I'm telling you how it was. We know about the marital problems. Jenny Horgan says you blackened her eye. It's all right, Jacob. The DA will understand. In your shoes, I would have done exactly the same thing. I hit her. All right? I'm not proud of it, but she was coming at me with a frying pan. What would you do? Took it for years, but sometimes a man, man can, can only take, take so, so much. much. What? I have a lot of empathy for this guy because literally I know his line of thinking. Why did you break into your wife's house, Jacob? Why steal the ring? What? What are you talking about? I've got a key. Why would I need to break in? He's got a point. Why would he need to break in? You took the ring because you found out who gave it to him. What are you talking about? Her prized garnet ring, given to her by her old boyfriend, Dick McCall. I never knew that. I lived with that woman for three years, and I never knew that. Well, in that case, I think you should be talking to Dick McCall. We'll do the detective work, Lunkhead. Just answer the question. I'll see what I can do for you, Jacob. But I'm not promising. It still looks bad for you. Phelps, you failed me, son. We have another lead, Captain. This guy Mendez could be our man. I hope so, Phelps. I really hope so. I'm deeply disturbed by your style of police work. Mm. Remember, we can still pull down a conviction for the skipper if we chase down this Mendez guy. That's our goal. You're behind the wheel. Hey, this apartment's the only hope so where we exactly have. are we going? 
I don't like the people who just want a, a confession just to get the case off. Alonzo Mendez. Sound like a man who moonlights as the werewolf? Don't sound like a man I'd let my daughter anywhere near. You've got a daughter. Spend enough time drinking, Cole, you'll find yourself with any number of things you don't want when you're sober. <laughs> so that's why you never sober up. Exactly. Ouch. I hope nothing happens to this other guy. My husband doesn't really... Okay, some domestic violence. But... Alright. Mendez is 16. Mendez, apartment 16. Well, no, no... Holy cow, I can't talk. Four H four. Here, me. the apartment's up on the top floor. Two. Let's get the step like a boss. And four. I'll take a guess. It's probably the one down the hall, because it always is. Don't bother knocking. Just kick the door in. Take a look around and see what you can find. I mean, I like your logic, dude, but... Is that a key? This isn't what we're looking for. Well, maybe the bedroom has something. Oh, free! Socket wrench. Where was that? Consistent with Celine's injuries, and the blood can be typed. Use lipstick. Brothers could match the color and brand of the body. But we need what? We have the murder weapon. Oh no! Better get Pinker down here. Why keep it? Why not throw it away? Think these clowns are geniuses? Thank your stars you caught a break. Captain Donald would begin to like you. Hey, what gives? LAPD, you're under arrest. Do not lose All that right, son so of a bitch. I just screwed up. Look at our wheels. How did I screw up? Mendez, stop I'm right there. I'm missing a clue, and I think you're allowed to miss one thing. The one clue I didn't grab were the size eight shoes. Which he has on uh, next to his bed, which I, for some reason didn't do first. I didn't think the bot that would be ordered. You don't need to do this, Alonzo. Well, Alonzo definitely is doing it if he's running like this. At least the guy was defending his honor. Get in and drive. Oh, come on. Wait. I just screwed up hard. Oh, I just messed up so hard. I just lost the car. Come on, that's not fair. God damn it, get after him, Cole. All right, rematch. Hit him, Cole. Spin him out. Idea. Get him next to my window, Come Cole. On. Keep me alongside his I'm vehicle, stuck. and I'll stop the son of a bitch. Are you freaking kidding me? Yeah, but... All right, build again, which we knew was gonna happen. 
I can't believe I literally God got damn it, get out of him, Cole. Hit him. Clean this asshole off the road. Oh, ooh, it was bad. I hope I don't. Yeah, so yeah, the last clue I'm missing. I got an idea. Get him next to my window, Cole. Keep me alongside his vehicle, and I'll stop this son of a I bitch. I don't know. I gotta be careful. Hit him, Cole. Spit him out. Keep it steady, and I'll try to bust his tires. Oh, freak. You're under arrest for the murder of Celine Henry. Thank you, partner. I just hope I don't have to redo that just because I missed one clue. I ain't saying a goddamn thing. The silence calls of violence. You did a grand job, lads. Phelps, that's quite a way to acquit yourself in your first outing as a homicide investigator. It seems the city has a new and vengeful guardian. How'd you get here? Considering the evidence against your suspect and the thoroughness with which a report was compiled, I foresee a safe passage through the courts, and the DA agrees with me. Brutality on a scale such as this deserves retribution. The people and the press of this city demand. Uh, he too would like a drink. I mean, he kind of deserves it. General, should I see Miss Anderson? Excuse me? Five stars. So, like I said, the one thing I missed was there's a shoe, size 8 shoe in his bedroom that you're supposed to grab first. If you do not, it goes straight into the chase cutscene. So, I did screw that part up. But we still have five stars. You can always miss one thing, and you should be okay, unless otherwise noted in this playthrough. So, guys, next time when I land a war, let's take our second case as a um homicide detective. I'll see you then.